about what I believe or anything like that. But I, I believe, see this rumour says, invitation to share belief. And I love Henry Winter's attitude. I believe that cr God created us all as the offspring of itself. Himself, herself, itself. Who can describe God? I don't think anyone can describe God from a fallen state, right? If we seem to be separated from God, how can you describe God who has created us as the offspring of itself, right? It's very, very hard. And many of us are in different stages of belief and understanding. You know, I mean, how many people are on the planet? Seven billion. And I don't think any two have the exactly same belief in separation from God. And yet I know one thing. Jesus Christ joined himself back to God. He came. He appeared. He said, I can only do what I hear my Father saying. He said, I and the Father are one. I believe Jesus Christ had a, a direct and perfect communication with God at the end of his ministry. I also believe the Bible, where it says, as he is in the world, so are you. As he is, so are you. In other words, we all came from God too. We came from God too, right? I believe that's true. I believe that we also are members of that one body that Jesus said, I am. I in gathered all things. When the time was right, when the time was right, God sent his son into the earth that he might gather all things into one, into himself. And I believe that Jesus Christ gathered all members that were before time into himself within time. Right? And he said, as I am, so are you. Why will you not yourself believe that you are the only begotten son too? Jesus knew he was the only begotten son begotten before the world began where were you in Job it says where were you when the sons of God sang for joy oh you were here with me all of us all of us were with God in the beginning right this is what the Bible is saying we're all with God in the beginning and Jesus said oh well if I've come down here to ingather all things unto myself then everyone in creation is my own divine formulation. I will receive all of them unto myself. And that's what the Bible says. He received us all unto himself. And when Jesus received all of us unto himself, he ingathered all the things. Father is the Father of all lights. Jesus gathered all lights unto himself and he resurrected because he gathered everything unto himself and he transcended the limitations of the heavens. For he said, what? What's this? Jesus Christ has passed through all the heavens. He has become the bridegroom that has come out of his tent. He is that one that has overcome the separation. He's the firstborn son. He's passed through all the, tab all, all, all the tabernacles, all the heavens. He has gathered every member of creation into himself as his own divine formulation. And when he accepted everyone to himself, he rose up into a glorious resurrection. And the wonderful thing is, when you do not judge, but you receive every member, in other words, everyone you see on the street, everyone you see walking around you, you say, hey, that's a part of me. That's me. That, what I see, is a part of me. I am Christ too. Jesus engathered the wholeness 
and he says that's the at one -ment. I am at one with all of creation and the heavens of heavens cannot contain me. The bridegroom came out of his tent and he now is the one giving the whole seed of atonement to everyone who would be his bride or who would receive him. So whoever receives him can receive the wholeness. Well, I know I am the bride of Christ and I have become his wife. I receive the incorruptible seed of Jesus who has in gathered all things to himself and I have become pregnant with truth myself. Now that's me. What about you? Are you pregnant with truth? Has the fullness of Jesus Christ who has overcome all things of separation and then gathered it into himself? Is that one who ingathered all things to himself, has he filled you with the wholeness? Has the at come to you? The at for sin? Sin is separation, at one moment is in gathering. So he ingathered all things and said, Hey, I share with everyone the ingathering. I share with everyone the ingathering. I have ingathered all things to myself. I've risen above all things of this world. I've transcended this world. My father and I are one. We are the same. And so is everyone. And when you realize this, your kingdom will come, right? It's amazing. And uh, I received Jesus as my Savior because he said, As I am, so are you. And he says unto you too, who's listening here right now, So are you. You are also the ingathering because I share the at with you. Right? I shine forth the blood which is the plasma, frequency, radiation and emanation from the first creation into all space-time relationships. The emanation coordinates your being in divine order with what is given. God is the giver, you are the receiver and you become one. The blood, the crystals, the crystalline structure. You, you, you look at the book of Revelation. God is living in a crystal temple. It's a crystalline structure of the blood, the emanation, the crystal communication of your being in space-time location. It's amazing grace. And uh, I can speak higher frequency and scientific notations on this kind of talk. But as far as the Bible is concerned, yes, Jesus overcame the world and he says, Hey, I shine the light forth to you that you also can receive it within your own body form and overcome the world too. Right? You who believe the word, the word, the emanation, the divine pattern, the configuration, the electric ma magnetic communication of the whole expression of life. That's you. It's you. I know a lot about this that I can't speak in Christian rooms, but I speak it in metaphysical kind of conditions. Hey, God is you. God is you. And you know that is so. You are God. God is you. You are the fullness of him that fills all and all. Of his fullness you have received. You know this, right? You know this. It's wonderful. It's beautiful. I can speak this continuously. I know all about the metaphysical changes that are going on in the world and within you. How you are a multi-dimensional being. You're not just a single flesh body. No, you're far greater. It's wonderful. I, I can talk more about it. But uh, I want you all to know God loves you so because you are the offspring of the Almighty One. You are what God is in space-time. And when you renew your mind, you return to the life divine. Anyway, beautiful ones, I'm going to hand over the mic. I can speak like this continuously. I know all about the metaphysics. I know all about it all. I've studied it. Jesus is my teacher. Jesus Christ is my teacher. And he also is your teacher. 
when you set your mind on the spirit of love. Peace, joy, goodness, righteousness, truth, holiness, certainty, wonderful, beautiful. Everything God is, that's you. I want you to know that. I want you to know that God is you. God is you waking himself as you in your space-time location as your self-identity. That you would realize the wholeness of your reality and extend the light of his glory into all of community. You are the wonderful one. And uh, I can't speak more highly of the living God because I'm speaking of me. God said he is me. He sent himself as me. He sent himself as you. He sent himself to speak the gospel of truth, to emanate and radiate the light of his glory into all community, that they would see that they themselves are this one life. I want you to bear witness of the truth, said Jesus. Will you be witnesses of me, he said. And eventually, through the ages, through prophets, priests, and sages, he revealed his mystery and dissolved the history and revealed that you too are the life of God coming forth into manifestation in this space and time. It's you. It's you. You are coming forth. You are the one that God said you are before the world was and now you are coming forth. You are coming forth to bear witness to truth. How can anyone else deny it when they see you walking in truth? I love it. <laughs> I love it. And I love you all. And I'm going to hand over the mic right here and right now. Because you are the Christ of God. You are the Christ of God manifested whether you know it or not. Casting down all vain imaginations and rising up into the knowledge of the living God. You are the one that was prophesied to come forth and it's you. You are the one that was prophesied to come forth. Here you are standing on the stage of life and it's you. It is you. So wonderful, so beautiful, so amazing, so powerful. So, oh, I just love you so. Here you are, my beautiful one, resurrected as God's true son, daughter, spirit of life. We love you. We love you. Hand over the mic. Hand over the mic. <laughs>